Right, I'm going to do a implant video um, for anyone who's just shut the door or something. So just let me. Uh, that's quite a few people on. Nice. How you doing, buddy? You right? uh, glad he's not joined BB yet. That's always a good start. Do not join at Brew Bravo, guys. Do not join Blue Bravo. Right, anyway, we're going to get cracked straight on with it because time is money. Um, literally, I did a video yesterday, um, kind of the same thing, and it went into like an hour and a half video. It was just so long. So I'm trying to cut this one down. Um, so I'm going to jump straight into it. Now, there's some implants you will never use. You're just not going to use them. If you go into... Um, so to get implants... Now, first of all, I'll tell you what implants are. Implants are something that gives your character a bit of an extra boost. So as you can see, I've got Engineer currently. And I'm currently using Ammo Printer and Sweeper Hood. Now, this is my, uh, what's called, what I call my vehicle loadout. But so yeah, here, as you can see, I have a vehicle loadout. Now there's different loadouts you'll do for different scenarios. Um, so as you can see here, this is using the Bionics implant and I'm using Symbio. I'll go into that a bit later. I'll go into rare implants. Um, but first of all, let's talk about what implants are. So implants give you a little tiny little boost. They can, they can change the way your character does things. Um, just a little bit of a boost really that you can get so for example they each have different things so for survivalist for example um, it has a recharge delay by one second um, basically um, you can have increased sprint speed when your shield drops um, so survivalist is a really good implant um, athlete makes you passively increased sprint acceleration duration and recovery so that's really good as well um, I'll talk about these in detail but to get them to get some of the implants you go to you click options department and you want to go across to implants now you can buy implant packs I'll go into that a bit later um, but generally these ones down here now 45 you know zero 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 you're not gonna buy these don't buy them okay um, that's because I think you're only allowed 10,000 maximum I think I think members can have up to 50,000, um, but yeah. So talk about these packs. Now these obviously were rare. Now you get these rare ones from the packs. So ISO 4 Recycler and Deluxe Implant. I'll go into them a bit later. Um, also I want to say that the menu currently, so if you go into Department and go to Implants, you can also get this from here. Now, if you didn't know what, where I am currently, I'm in Sanctuary. Now, you click onto the map by pressing um, the big square pad. So you click it, you zoom right out using L2. Like that, you come to this map here. Now, this is the current map that's on. VR, and you want to go to Sanctuary in the top corner. So you come to this guy, you come to the middle here. You turn left. And then you go to this guy with the green, with the, with the sorry, not the green, the red stuff above him. So you want to click on him. And it's implant. just basically coming to the same menu. Um, so while you're here, you can check it out. Um, now I'm going to go into each implant. I'm going to go, I'm not going to do the rares. I'm going to save them till last. I'm going to talk about how you can get rares as well. But I'm going to give my general opinion. Now, obviously somebody somewhere might use an implant different. It's just the way it is. Um, I have my uses for my implants. If somebody has users, you know, ransack, that's fine. You know, by all means, I'm I'm going to give a comment as though I don't you you know uh, I don't use them from my own personal you know viewpoint. So um, straight off the bat, I don't use ransack. Now you will notice that it says ransack one. That is because it's rank one. You will see that this nightmare is four. Now it has um, a red background. 
a bit like these or these that means it's nearly max rank but it's not quite now level five when you get level five on an implant it always gives you something extra so as you can see let's look at uh, electrotech for example right so electrotech says your current shield breaks it releases a repairing nanites that are healed that heal mechanical objects for 10 meters for 300 health over four seconds right now if you upgrade it again to max rank when your shield breaks it releases a pulse of repair nanites that here so it basically does the same thing but it has a little extra on it so short circuits small enemy deployables within range um so yeah so that's that's basically the last rank um so yeah if you're just wondering um max rank always gives you something extra in most cases like for symbio it doesn't give you anything extra really it just makes it the cooldown less i think i think it gives you 30 seconds without taking damage instead of 20 instead of 25 but yeah so ransack i don't use nightmare i used it during the halloween i used it quite a lot um, i used it for getting knife kills i wouldn't say it's it's like a must have um to upgrade or oh, just talking about upgrades still so to upgrade as you can see down there you've got upgrade uh square button so if you click it it take it cost me 75 to upgrade now if i wanted to upgrade it again i think it's 225 and then it goes up to i think 900 i could be wrong but you have to use iso to get implants now where do you get iso as you can see in the corner there um, 565 ISO so I have 565 now I get you get ISO by winning and losing a continent look you can also get ISO from these things here now these are the missions there's um, one over there one over here and there's one at your walk gate normally now you click on these I'll just show you this one here so you can get 25 ISO by doing this mission. So you have to uh, acquire an Arasa from Warpgate. You have to and deliver messages around. Now, for new players, this is good because you get an experience and you're also getting 25 ISO, which is nice. So you, as you can see here, this transport assist one, you get 50 um, ISO from this. Now, you can't do this because it requires you to be on SMEA and it requires you to be in a storm. Um, at the moment, SME is not open, but if SME was open, you wouldn't see a storm anyway, so you're wasting your time. Um, you might see one on weekends, but I'm just showing you. So some of these, um, 100 ISO, some of them give implants. Um, there isn't any implants currently, but this mining for asylum drill now, I've done a bit of it. Um, I've done it for the 100 ISO. So yeah. So some of these missions do give implants. So they give, um, just let me show you real quick. So they do, they don't give rare implants, but they do give the basic level one implant. As you can see, these are basic level ones. The green ones are always level one. So they do give a basic implant. Now you can do the mission for cheap. Um, literally all you want to do is just deliver a message and it'll give you the implant. Now, certain implants cost quite a lot of to buy. So I, if you go into department and have a look now i've bought near enough every implant there is apart from fortify now i haven't bought fortify because it's the biggest load of rubbish you're just never going to use it and to be honest um there's better implants out there but as you can see it costs 3500 iso to buy and that's quite a lot now as you can see uh 3500 iso is a lot now i'm not going to buy it for that much because i'm upgrading when you first start you want to upgrade the implants that apply to you you don't want to be upgrading everything willy-nilly um you want to make your character stronger so as you can see you can gain iso you can also gain implants so just look on the board and see what you've got to do um there's certain ones that are hard like this one is virtually impossible to do because you need to have a storm on SME and it, it just doesn't spawn the storm never comes um, so yeah so let's go back into the implants and have a look at what implants I would recommend 
I know I keep going off track here, but I'm trying to make it new player friendly, um, just so new players understand, because there's a lot of new players coming in and it's very confusing. So as I was saying, ransack, don't use it. Um, this is because you would more than likely use ammo printer or um, and sweeper hood in a vehicle. So I don't use ransack. Nightmare level four, I upgraded it because I used it for the, um, I used it for killing people um, with a knife. I had to kill people with masks on. Uh, that was during the Halloween event. So I used that. So I pulled out a knife and put this implant on. I did upgrade it with spare ISO, but I wouldn't really waste your time any other, any other than that. Uh, it's just, you just don't use it on series. Survivalist, I use quite a lot. Now, Survivalist you can use on heavy assaults. Um, as you can see there, I've got my heavy assault load out. Um, so yeah, really useful on heavy assaults. Um, it, the reason you use it is because it gives you, um, it can give you a sprint, which enables you to get away from the enemy. So if you're fighting in say an urban area and someone starts shooting at you and you don't notice them, you could just run off. Um, you could just run off around a corner, heal and come back. Gunslinger, I don't use it. Um, you might use it for an infiltrator if you want to go pistol first. But realistically, I just don't use it. Electrotech. Now these are based on my own opinions, by the way, guys. Um, but I'm also comparing to what people use on series or see people using quite a lot. So Electrotech, I never use. Um, it's the biggest load of rubbish. Um, as an engineer main, you would never use it, really. There used to be a bug where it would blow up deployables. And I remember a guy talking in a video once and he was saying that his friend used it and blew up a load of mines on a point and killed half his team. Um, and he got um, friendly fire. He got blocked, weapon block because of friendly fire. Yeah, I think he killed like six or seven people. Anyway, yeah, so I just don't use it. Now I put spare ISO into it, just for the hell of it really, to test it out. But I've tested it out and it's just not very good. So Symbiote um, is good. So it gives you a 20% small arms resistance. Now 20% small arms resistance is anything using a gun. So it can be like um, machine guns, it can be SMGs, um, pistols, anything that's using a gun, um, it gives you 20% small arms resistance. Now this can stop one or two bullets um, from hitting you. Now you might use this on say a combat medic. So let me just equip it real quick and show you. So the thing is with this, is that it takes health. So as you can see, I've been losing health at the bottom there because I'm using Symbiote. Now on a medic, um, you can heal your health back. Now obviously on an engineer, it says I've got no health at the bottom. But the trick is because I'm using Bionics implant, it's actually, mm, mm, well, 900 health is actually in my shield. So my shield is the one that heals over time but it doesn't really heal because it's taking health off me. Uh, that's the only snag with this. Now, as a new player, you might use it. I mean, I say might. You might use it with... Um, just let me just have a I know, regen device. So as you can see, I'm healing myself at the bottom there using my own ability. So that's a good thing. Now obviously I'm going to end up losing health over time um, with this implant. Now it seems to be, it can be a bit buggy sometimes, but um, you can heal the health with a medic. You're never ever really going to use it anywhere else because the problem you're going to come across is if you're not using Bionics implant and you're losing health, you have no way to gain the health back. And you only lose a small amount, so let's read it. So you lose 20, uh, what is it? Anytime longer than 30 seconds without taking small arms damage. Any player, so it will gnaw at your health pool. So it only gnaws at your health pool a little bit. But over time, you're gonna lose so much health that you're gonna get into combat and just die to one shot. So as I say, um, with an engineer, I take Barnix. Now I'll talk about that a bit later, but yeah. 
So please be aware of that, that it does gnaw at your health pool. So yeah, you're probably gonna to say to yourself, well, why don't, why don't you just take um, Nano Weave? Well, you can, but on an engineer, um, I heal shields back quicker because that's what an engineer has as a as a like an added bonus. So using advanced shield capacitor makes me heal back twice as fast. If you compare it with bionics, because I'm getting uh, 400 shield um, extra, it just makes me basically heal without a medic. I don't have to carry med kits around, uh, so that's why. Uh, so going back to it. So you've got Sidewinder, I don't use Sidewinder. Now there's a lot of people that use Sidewinder on heavies. Um, you come across them from time to time. Now, uh, Sidewinder I don't use. Um, I just never use it, but I did put certs into it. Now, a lot of people say, a lot of people say that you use this and Athlete and it can be really OP. Um, I don't, I don't particularly use it. Um, I know there's people on VS that use it. I come across them quite daily, quite, uh, quite, quite on the regular, really. But I don't use it myself. Um, it's not a bad implant if you're in close combat. Um, it basically accelerating, decelerating. Uh, strafe, strafing takes like as long. Uh, increased accelerating, decelerating. Yeah, I mean, just read it. Really, I don't use it personally. Athlete. Now, I got this to level 5 quite off the bat, really. Now, I use Athlete mainly for Infiltrator. Oh, I've got InfoVision on. But um, it just helps. So, let me just put it, equip it real quick. So, I use Athlete for long-range sniping. It's also good on an Engineer because you can, um, if you've got a shotgun, so you can run really fast with it on and it's just all around really useful um i don't use it as much as i should really but i do find it useful additionally you gain 10 percent increased speed whenever you're moving for longer periods um, other than that it's also good for point holding now point holding now um you get safeguard when you start off um safeguard and athlete are really good for point holding this is because additionally um you gain 20% faster, um, let's have a, just have a read. So it improves your acceleration and deacceleration. So what that means is when you're getting lifted up by a medic, you can accelerate quicker. It's really random, but you can accelerate out the way of someone who's trying to shoot you. So if you're being picked up by a medic. Um, so people in point hold scenarios might use this as well. Uh, Bionics I'll talk about later. So jockey, so jockey, if you compare it with, so let me show you real quick. Uh, what's it on? So if you compare it with rob robotics tech, it is generally used. Um, so let me show you real quick. So this monitor, I can't put it down. I don't think. Well, let me. But yeah, you can see the outline of it. But if you man this, stand and man it, it gives you an overshield. Now, you use it mostly for that. So let me just show you real quick. So normally I use it. Uh, let me, so jockey. So let me just go into VR real quick and show you what I mean. So generally, you use it just for the mana turret. You would never use it for anything else. There's no reason to buy it. Now, um, I think Jockey has, it gives you increased um, shield health and it gives your team increased shield health when you're in a certain thing. So let me just equip it real quick and show you.
So here you go. So now, as you can see, um, you'll see it glow. Oh, it should glow. It's not glowing. Okay. I'm not sure why, but it usually glows a yellow colour. That's because of these implants. Let me show you. So implants. If you go over here, maybe. Maybe put that another one. Oh, strange. Maybe bugged. But yeah, if you go to... Um, So Jockey uh, gives you, when you're manning a mana turret, it gives you additional health, I think. So it says here, while riding an exposed vehicle turret or gunning an engineer mana turret, you receive an extra 50% maximum shield health. Additionally, squad mates in your vehicle, in your vehicles within 50 meters of you also receive this benefit. So you gain maximum shield health when you're using an exposed, uh, you're in an exposed vehicle seat or manning a mana turret. This just means that, um, so if you're in one of these, let me just show you real quick. So you don't want to buy it just for this. It's a big waste of time. If you're in a Valkyrie, in the back of a Valkyrie, um, you gain an extra 50% because that's an ex exposed vehicle seat. Now also you gain 50% when you're manning something like this. This is a vehicle. It's an exposed vehicle because obviously there's no um, no cab on it or anything like that. So yeah. So you don't want to buy it just for that. You want to buy it just for the mana turret. So yeah. Ah, there you go. Showing up now for some reason. But as you can see, it's glowing a color. Now, the reason it's glowing um, is because, hang on a sec, I'll show you in here instead, is because of robotics tech. Now, robotics tech is something that you should get early on as an engineer. Um, it's just really useful. So, riding it, um, so here you've got uh, non mine deployables um, in 15 meters have 25% resistance to incoming damage and will repair themselves. So this has, has resistance to incoming damage and it will also repair itself over time. Now this goes for anything that you use. So let's show you. So if you put one of these down, it should work on that as well. Yep, there you go. So not only am I getting 25% resistance, but it's also healing, me over, healing, healing my um, deployable over time. So that's really useful. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go back into Sanctuary real quick. So yeah, you don't want to buy them, you want to buy just them two, you want to buy them just for the mana turret mainly. Um, you will be unstoppable on a mana turret if you have those implants. You don't want to buy them because of the exposed vehicle seat. It's very rare that you would use them. You won't use them in the back of a Valkyrie very often. And you also won't use them sitting on a, um, sitting on a flash. You're just never going to use it. So I, I man the mana turret, that's my use, most used thing. Um, so it, yeah. There's another one of them mission terminals for anyone who's wondering, and one up there. These are mission terminals down here as well. So let's crack straight on. So here you go. Um, so yeah, these, Jockey and Robotics Tech here. Robotics tech, I'm going to talk about this, but yeah, that is probably the go-to. Now, you get robotics tech by going into department and clicking on implants. It will come up, I think it's about 3,500 to buy. I'm not sure the actual price. It might be a lot cheaper now, but it was quite expensive when I bought it. So yeah, so going back to it. So you've got Jockey, Firestorm is the next one. Firestorm, I just don't use it. Um, now, nah, I don't know if it's bad or good. I know that when it came out, it was really good. They said that the gap between veteran players and new players was becoming further apart because people were buying this Firestorm and they were just mowing down loads and loads and loads of new players like at a base. And it's just not fun to go against someone who has Firestorm. That's what I heard. 
Um, apparently they nerfed it. They nerfed the fire rate instead of 8%. Instead of, I can't remember what it was before, but they, it says here fire rate of 8% for three seconds. So yeah, um, I don't use it. I haven't had a chance to try it out because you take it into VR and it doesn't work. So I don't know. Heavyweight, I never use. Um, critical chain, I just don't use. That's mainly for sniper. Heavyweight is, um, it reduces the flinch from people firing stuff at you. I think like under barrel grenade launchers or something. But you, you never use it. Critical chain, you never use. Now people used to use this with, um, so if you go to sniper rifle, um, sorry. If you go to, so like archer, this is a max weapon. When you hit a max in the head, you could rechamber quicker and shoot the max again if you killed him um, and shoot another max. People just don't use it. I never see people use it. So I'll talk about that in a sec. Uh, fail safe. I just don't use it. Um, it's not something I use. It's probably not something you're going to use either. Um, I don't even know what it does. When your shield is broken, you gain 10% maximum. Yeah, you just don't use it. So Covolt Drop is another one, you just don't use it. Um, that's because you have to drop and take damage for in order to kick in, and you're just not, you're just not practical. Um, response Jacket, again, I don't use it. You're probably going to be like, well, what's the point? I mean, you've got flak armor, um, you could, you're better off putting that on. Um, I mean, you're going to take damage with Response Jacket in order for it to kick in, and it's just a waste of time. Um, Revenant, now I upgraded that a little bit, but really it's just for memes. You're never going to use it. People just don't use it. Um, yeah, just I, I don't know. I suppose you could upgrade it to max and have some fun with it. If a whole squad had it, maybe I don't know. Assassin again, I don't use it. Um, somebody was saying to me once to use it in a vehicle, but it literally says does not clear spots on vehicles. So I don't know what they meant. Someone on Reddit. So overdrive, um, again, I don't use it. You should be using ammo printer and um, sweeper hood really when you're in vehicles. Overdrive, just not worth it. Safe fall is pretty good. You can use it to stop yourself from getting damaged. That's when you're jumping off a building. Um, you mostly use it on a light assault. So you, you fly off the edge of a building into the enemy and you don't take damage um, so that's really good um, that's literally all I use it for now I haven't upgraded it to the max because I'm not falling from you know I'm not falling from a massive height but still um, I think max rank is pretty good you could you could jump out of something so you could jump out of an aircraft for example and land on somebody's Sunderer and C4 it maybe uh, just to give you an example but I don't use it um, that I'll talk about later now these are rare implants, I'll talk about how to get them in a bit. Uh, Cat like 4, I don't use it. Um, now it does, obviously, when you crouch, it obviously stops the movement speed penalty. Um, now if you upgrade it to max rank, you can jump a lot higher. That enables you to jump onto buildings um, that you wouldn't normally, well, like onto rocks that you wouldn't usually be able to get onto. Um, as a sniper, you can get a good uh, vantage point by jumping on onto rocks and jumping higher than normally. Um, it gives you some good vantage points, but other than that, I just don't use it. I've never used it because I don't snipe. Um, so yeah. So we simulate level five. Um, this is one of the, this is a good one to upgrade. Now I didn't do this straight away, but on headshot kills, it instantly restores 200 shield and 10% of the maximum ability. So you could use this on a combat medic, for example. Um, so earlier I had, I think I had it equipped on my combat medic. Um, it's really good because if you shoot people in the head. You gain some shield back, and you also, um, it's just an all around good thing. So, you might use it on engineer, um, not engineer, heavy assault as well, as you could see. If you keep hitting people in the head, you'll keep gaining shield back, which is useful. Um, so, yeah, it wasn't one of my first ones I ever upgraded just because I play engineer, and there's a lot more, you know, there's just better ones to get. Most of the time when I play, because I've just played Engineer, I got my Robotics Tech um, implant. That was one of the first ones I got. So I didn't I didn't waste my time with stuff like that. Not that it's a waste of time, but I just didn't find it useful to me. On a, You just don't use it on an Engineer. It's just not, not practical. 
Um, so yeah. So going back to it, let's have a look. So you've got simulate, you've got safeguard. Now safeguard is a good implant to use when you're point holding. Um, I I use I used to equip it quite a lot on my engineer when I'm point holding. So this and um, I used to have safeguard and um, athlete. Other than that, I don't use it that often. Um, but it's there nonetheless, and it's quite a good implant. Um, I wouldn't say it's completely useless, but it's not something you would upgrade straight away unless you specifically want to go for point holding, which then you would have to find an outfit that does point holding and it requires everybody to work as a team on the point, etc. It's not something you come across on series very often, but safeguard is there nonetheless, and it's really useful. It can save you as a new player if you're getting medicked quite a lot. Um, so yeah, ammo printer is something that you use in vehicles. The only time I've ever used it is on an infiltrator or a light assault um, to give me some ammunition over time. Um, personally, I use it more in vehicles than I would do using it on a character. Um, you can use it to restore ammunition in a vehicle like a tank. That's literally what you would use it. Well, that's what I use it for. Um, you could use it on a light assault to gain some ammunition back or maybe a sniper. There's other implants for sniping. I'll go I'll go into that in a bit, but yeah. So robotics tech, um, I've talked about that. Regeneration. So regeneration is something that you would use on an engineer, say for example, um, if you don't have a way to gain. So as you can see, I've got medic kits here. Um, I've been using medic kits. Now, if you wasn't using a medic kit, you would need to gain life back. So regeneration is, is a good thing to use. Now, personally, I use med kits because this, this used to be my old loadout. So it would be something like this. So it'd be something like this with a med kit. Um, the problem with the implant is that it just regenerates really slow. And to get in and out of combat, is just you're going to die, especially if you're point holding and you're waiting for it to heal you. You're better off taking a, trying to get a medic to follow you around than trying to use this implant sometimes. Um, but yeah, I'll talk about that later. So Vampire, um, I've never used it, really. I used it during the um, during the last update. I used it to kill people with mass using a knife. But I just, other than that, I mean, the Halloween update, I used it for that, but really I didn't use it. I don't use it any other time. Um, Oculus Shield. Um, I don't use it. It's another one that I don't use. Um, I have upgraded it to max. Now, it's a good point hold thing to use. Um, but again, I don't use it. Um, I just don't don't have a, a use for it, really. Um, so, yeah. I mean, it does help with flash and concussion in MP. You could use it on a combat medic um, to help you with that. But, again, I don't use it. Um, if you had it on a combat medic and you was defending a point, it would probably be useful. Sweeper hood is another one for vehicles. You use it 99% of the time when you're in a vehicle. Now, this is because you're trying to spot mines. You're trying to spot deployables on the floor that could blow you up. So you could also use it to find, um, say, I don't know, anti-personnel mines. But really, you're using it to, to see tank mines, especially when you're driving. Um, you don't want to don't want to go on them. It's going to be a rough day for you. It's going to be a rough day. And you never live it down when you get blown up by a tank mine. You never live it down. Whole server goes against you. No, I'm, anyway. Yeah. So battle hardened uh, level five. So this is an implant that I just don't use anymore. Now I used to use it quite a lot, but in recent years I just don't see the point. If you get used to the flinch um, that somebody like, because when people shoot you, you flinch. Um, other than that, I, I mean, it's not useful. People have said that if people don't shoot at you and don't make you flinch, then it's a waste of an implant. Uh, but if you find yourself getting shot a lot, you could use it if you're trying to aim for headshots and you keep getting knocked off the head because you, you're getting shot at. Other than that, I don't use it. Target focus is another one where you use... You might use it for long-range engagements when you're using a sniper. Um, other than that, I don't use it. I use it on my sniper sometimes. I also use it to gauge the health. So as you can see on um, a max, 
So I use it on a burst to max. Now this is because you're checking the health of the target you're shooting at. So if you spot the target, um, you can then check the health. So if I'm shooting a bunch of air targets, I can check the lowest health and I can aim for that first. Basically, that's what I'm doing. So, yeah. So talk about carapace in a bit. So sensor shield. Sensor shield is average. I mean, if you're walking around and you don't want to get spotted by, you know, detection devices, but really no one uses detection devices that much. So it's not going to be a priority to upgrade unless you're, you know I mean, I mean, really, if you're playing infiltrator and you want to be sneaky, then it's a good thing to have, but it's not a necess necessarily, you know, something that you're going to need, um, you know, really, realistically. Um, there's a better implants to get first. You might upgrade it later down the line, but other than that, this analyst hood is the one you get from the campaign. So I'm not really going to talk about that. All that does is you equip it and it enables you to see the tasks you need to do on the campaign. Um, so that's it. So these ones here are rare implants. You get them by um, buying packs. Now you could say it's loot box. So if you go into department, so you click options, department, and you go into implants. You can see that you can buy crates. Now do not buy the basic implant pack. Don't waste your money. Okay, it's 300, 300 certs. If you really wanna buy something, buy the deluxe implant pack. But really, realistically, I wouldn't buy any of these. I would buy, um, I would go into department. I would look for your implant in department. I would save up the ISO and I would buy the implant you need. So there's certain implants that certain people have. So um so for example if you have um what am i doing one second so for an engineer for example right i was telling you to get robotics tech now if you're getting robotics tech first that is a engineer only implant so i would save up the certs needed by winning or losing continent alerts and i would buy this robotics tech then i would upgrade it I wouldn't waste my money with buying packs for rare implants because it's very, very hard to get them and you're going to spend a lot of ISO just for a little reward, really. So, yeah. So, deluxe implant packs, you would buy... Now, I buy these to get ISO because I sell the duplicates and then use the ISO to buy the ISO recycler. Now... If you buy this, you have a small chance to get a rare implant, which is one of these. Now, it's very, very rare that you're going to get a rare implant from a deluxe implant pack. You're going to get, you have more chance of getting it from an ISO 4 recycler. But then you have to spend ISO and yeah. So, okay. So I think that clears that up. Um, you have to buy packs in order to unlock these. Now, they're not super hard to get. You know, it's not going to take you like two years to get this. But what I'm saying is um, just buy your implant, your normal implant, upgrade it and use that. If you get to a stage where you've bought all the implants you need, start wasting ISO on trying to get rare implants. But most of these rare implants are not necessarily, they're not going to make your character OP. So let's have a look at the rare implants I have unlocked and see what they do. So as you can see, um, I talked about this one earlier. So this one gives you 400 health. Uh, it removes 400 health and gives you 400 shield. So it basically puts all your health into a shield, basically. Um, so yeah. So that just enables you to regen your health, really. Um, so yeah. I don't use it myself. Um, I don't use, well, I say I don't use it myself. I don't use it, my, I don't use it on anything but engineer, rather. Because engineer gets faster regen on shields, so it makes it useful. Um, I don't use it on medics or heavy assaults. Cold heart implant is mainly a VS weapon, and it's only for select weapons. Now it reduces the cooldown of certain weapons. Um, you can use it on a mana turret to reduce the cooldown, an anti-infantry mana turret. But then it's a niche thing, and you, you're never going to really, you, you're not going to use it. It's, it's the biggest waste of time for NC at least. Uh, maybe VS use it for some of their cooldown weapons. Um, so logistics specialist you would use to spawn 
and allied into your vehicle so that if you're in a tank or you're in an harasser um, people can spawn straight on you um, it is a good implant but again it's a niche one i mean really you're going to take ammo printer and sweeper hood most of the time you're not going to rely on this it's not you know it's, it, i mean you might use it to spawn somebody in and then jump out and change implant so infravision uh infravision is one that i got recently it turns everything like a gray color and highlights people so you can shoot people in the head better um like robots whatever but mainly you use it on a dark map um it can be really useful but again it's not grain groundbreaking and it's mainly used for dark areas it, it just illuminates dark areas so let me just take this so you got so this one minor cloak if you sit still for eight seconds i think it's eight seconds you go invisible uh, i'm just going to sit still so there you go you've gone invisible so i mean again it's another niche one you might sit on the point and go invisible and wait for the enemy to turn up and then uncloak yourself and shoot him i mean there's there's not a lot you can do with this really um yeah it's just i don't see a use with it it's a rear implant that you can unlock but again i mean you're never going to use it really counter intelligence you automatically spot targets you damage who damage you and while uh not inside a vehicle uh yeah i mean again it's i mean yeah i never use it i just don't use it um i just don't find a use for it i'm sure somebody somewhere will use it get use out of it but so it works in vehicles max unit can equip i mean you could use it for a vehicle if you're sat in a vehicle and you're being damaged it just spot the target that's shooting you um but yeah i mean i don't use it if you're in vehicles you're gonna be using armor printer and sweep or generally um, so the next one is carapace now carapace takes away your um, shield and puts it into health so let me just show you real quick I think i've already got one actually so as you can see here i've got carapace equipped now it doesn't give you a shield down at the bottom this is because it takes your shield and puts it into health so with that i use a restoration kit um, i use a restoration kit now this is a very niche um, thing I don't run around with it all the time. I, I mainly use it for point holding. Uh, just because if people chuck EMP grenades on, it does nothing to me. Um, it doesn't take down my shields. Um, but other than that, no, I don't use it. Um, again. See, all these rare implants that are, are quite niche. Now, Bionics and Carapace are really good. And Infravision. I mean, they're, use, they're useful. They all have their uses, but they're not like a necessity. Necess uh, necessity. You know, you're not going to rely on these 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You're going to equip it sometimes, and sometimes you're not going to equip it. You're not going to need it. So, yeah. So, that's talking about that. Um, while I'm here, I'm just going to go into character-specific uh, implants. So, character-specific ones. So, you've got target focus. Obviously, you've got deep operative, which is another one. Um, deep operative, I... Um, if you equip deep operative it makes you more um, when you go invisible it, it makes the enemy harder to see you I believe and it also go, makes you go invisible more um, so after 12 seconds um, I'm not I'm not going to stand here and try and show you what it does you get the gist of it it just makes you uh, harder to spot basically um, so yeah I haven't upgraded it because I don't use it that often Sometimes I use it for, I was using it when I was wielding a knife and I was camping out near spawn points so that when the enemy come I could knife them and I was using deep operative to cloak myself better after 12 seconds. Uh, oh, it's 20 seconds, outside of 20 seconds. 12 seconds is the next upgrade, yeah, I get it. But yeah, I just don't use it that often. So light assault, uh, let's have a quick look. So here you've got... Um, trying to think where the light sort one is again i don't use it ah, here we go we've got aerial combatant again i don't use it it's not something i use and um i think there's another one paratrooper i don't use that either 
Um, generally, you want to use survivalist and um, regeneration for uh, light assault. Really, that's what you want to use. So combat medic. Um, combat medic has one or two. So they have a mending field. Uh, mending field. If you use that, um, that is for this here. Shield recharging field. If you get it to max. So let's just have a quick look, see what it does. So this is a, a medic only implant. You can only get it if you're a medic. Now allies who are within 300 health, below 300 health, passively heal for 15. So it, here, it basically does um, the same 15 health per second, but it does it on the mending field. Um, well, the, the finger field, uh, whatever it's called. So the shield recharging field. So if you put that down uh, and you have this max implant, you will also heal people's health. Now again, I don't use it that often. I would use it. I would use it more um, for point hold scenarios, really. But I use combat surgeon a lot. Now this is another implant. If you're playing medic, you need to get combat surgeon straight away. This is a go-to. Now to get this. You go to department again, you go over to implants and you look for combat medic. You can buy it for a certain amount of certs, um, not certs, ISO, get it, get me words out. So yeah, it's one. Of, it's probably the main one you're going to get um, for combat medic. I'm on the wrong one here. So yeah, for combat medic, you're always going to take combat surgeon, always. It's going to be the go-to. What it does, um, just let me... Uh, show you real quick so as you can see the health bar ticks down because I'm using my health so as you can see um, now obviously it goes back up slowly you can see it in the middle of the screen there now if I pick somebody up off the ground if I heal pick somebody up using my tool um, it will give me so much to my health again so it will give me um, some of the green stuff in that bar there so um, Generally, what you're doing is you're getting some nano regen device back um, to keep you healing. That's what it's useful for. Um, so yeah, so it's it's a go-to really. Um, it also gives you when you pick people up off the ground, it gives you small arms damage by 25, um, 25 percent, which is also nice. And that's at max rank. So engineer, engineer has obviously robotics tech and um, jockey electro tech again jockey and robotics tech are good for mana turrets that's all they're good for um, robotics tech is good for any deployable really um, you can so spitfire turret you might run it with a spitfire turret um, electro tech i don't use um, so heavy assault again these have got some so mobility mesh i don't use it it's just not something you're going to use and heavyweight, um, heavyweight. I don't think that's an, a thing you only implant. But again, I don't use them. Um, I don't think there's any more really. Uh, mobility mesh, I just don't use. It's just not something I use. I don't think anybody uses it. I've never come across anybody using it. Um, so heavy assault, Max. So Max has a rare implant that's called Disengage. It's not a necess 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 necessity. You don't need it. It's the biggest waste of time. Generally, you want to be taking salvage, which is it, it gives you health back when you kill a max. Now you're going to co come across a max as a max. If you pull a max, they're going to pull a max. If they pull a max, you're going to pull one and try and attack their max, etc., etc. Just the list goes on. Um, so yeah. So the as a max, generally you're you could take safeguard, but um, you're going to take stuff like sweeper hood or salvage um, sweeper hood to see tank mines if they put tank mines down uh, you could use infravision really but uh, I mean I don't know salvage and sweeper hood are really what you're going to take um, that's what I would take anyway you could take ocular shield that's another good one um, but personally I don't use it there's another implant that I haven't talked about as well and that's firewall um, I'll talk about this right now so firewall you can put a firewall around certain things, so like base turrets. Again, it's a niche implant that you don't really use. Um, 
there's only certain situations when you might use it and if then it's it's questionable um i do equip it sometimes and go and firewall some turrets just for the hell of it just because i'm bored i mean really there's nothing else to do you could you'd be better off dancing around the rosewood bush um you probably get more enjoyment out of that than you would firewall really let's be honest because firewall is a niche thing and it's a rare implant so it takes a lot to unlock and again you're just never going to use it it's never going to use it so that's generally it for implants um, there's nothing really else to tell you nothing really to talk about really um, other than that so yeah I'm going to leave it at that and I will see